Showtime! With a little help from the folks in our audience. Ah, okay, right, okay. Now, this is the part where we have some people come up out of the audience, help us out with a little sketch. Uh, great one tonight, no kidding, really. Uh, gentleman down here with the uh, turtle around your neck. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, it's turtle neck. Okay, all right, okay. Uh... Would you, we hate to wake you up. You want to come up, sir? <laughs> With your finger in your mouth, what are you doing there? Huh? Come on up. Okay, huh? Boy, this is going to be good. So we need a guy who looks like a father. You know, religious type of father. Okay, now you're going to be over here. Now, we need a lady. Anybody, a uh, lady, uh, the lady in the print dress back there. You want to? Yeah. <laughs> Tim Conway. Oh, good Lord, I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, just I always get you mixed up with the funny one. <laughs> sorry, I didn't. I didn't. Wow. I didn't get your name. Your name? Oh, oh, my name. My name. My name is Eunice Higgins. Ms. Ms. Eunice Higgins. But uh, listen, you just call me by my first name because that's what I'm going to use in show business. You know, just like all them them stars do. You know, like Cher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eunice, just Eunice. 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 Eunice.
support from my mama. No, never, never. But all my life, I grew up dreaming that I was going to be a star. Every time I poured a pitcher of Tang, I'd say to myself, what the hell does Florence Henderson have that I don't have? What the answer was? Nothing. And then every time I saw Ann Blythe in them hostess cupcake commercials, a little voice inside of me kept saying, Eunice, that could be you up there with them ding-dongs. <laughs> you know what I did? I hopped every single thing I owned. And I came out here to Hollywood. And it wasn't easy. I, I was hanging around Hollywood Boulevard out there. At the Grauman's Chinese Theater, you know? And then the, this smart-looking dude, he comes up to me and he says, Hey, cutie, you want to be in show business? I said, No, I just stand around in Joey Heatherton's shoes for my, my health. And then he says to me, I can put you in show business. And I said, Oh, sure, sure, sure. Please do. He says, I can put you in a circus. <laughs> wanted me to train elephants. Chinese <laughs> elephants. <laughs> I can't even tell you where they was joined. Bobby Cuddlers gave out. <laughs> Do you know how embarrassing it is to walk up to somebody in show business and every step you take your shoes and give them the raspberry? <laughs> the only bright light in this whole fiasco is me being picked to be here on this show and to do Joan of Arc. And if you think you're going to blow that for me, you're one brick short of a full load. You got to... <laughs> This is important to you, really. I, I'll tell you what. I, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just get back up here? Now, come on. We'll just get right to the dramatic part. You know, now we've been, yeah, we, we've been doing our part here, but I can see that you are, you've got a point there that you should be doing this, not us. You know what I mean? We just tie right there. Boys, come on with me. Now, we'll let you get right to that juicy part. You know, we'll all just right. watch from off here, okay? Right. When I say action, you let them have it, all, all right? right. I can see. Oh, by the way, good luck here. <laughs> there you go. Bye. I will never, never deny destiny's call. Never, never, never. Hark! It's calling me now. Hey, you guys want to cut down on the smoke out here? Cause I, I think that little sucker set fire to me. Dancers, featuring Ricky Siegel. Brothers, do you know what shine it on means? Well, you should. Sisters, you gotta make that phrase more your own for your own good. When depression comes upon you, does a downer number on you take no notice? Shine.
comes your way, shine it on, shine it on. Morning news brings the blues, shine it on, shine it on. Just dismiss it, do and hiss it, crack it in parenthesis it. That's the way you shine it on. I have learned my lesson. Ah, good. You can bring out Carol and thank her. Now you're talking right. showbiz. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank our special guest star, Carol Burnett. Pardem moi, Maggie, what do you think you're doing? Well, you guys got to introduce Carol in the beginning of the show, and uh, she's been my idol for my whole life, so I wanted to thank her. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, well, it's my privilege to thank our special guest star and idol, <laughs> Carol Burnett. Yeah! Oh. Miriam! Don't tell me you want to thank Carol. <laughs> I guess I would like to. It would be an honor. Except that you guys took so much time arguing out here that Carol had to leave. So she asked me to thank you. Oh. Hmm. Well, you're welcome, Carol. We, uh, we're all dressed up and got no one to thank. Yeah. John Crichton Dancers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Oh, We'd like to thank, thank you, John Crichton Dancers. Tonight on House Calls, Charlie scrubs up a new image when he thinks he's losing his job and his girl to a new surgeon. Now, what happens when Hawkeye plays one practical joke too many on Winchester? On MASH, next, following news break. Portions of the preceding program were recorded before a live audience. This is your dummy announcer speaking.